uh, there's an old there's an old story. It's by uh, an old sword master of the shogunate, right? And um, and then back in the day, a lot of samurai had like I don't know, they'd quite say they were like squires, but like their servants kind of thing. You know, they had someone that would help carry certain things and do certain things. You know, that kind of thing. And um, the samurai was walking through. Uh, in this, we're gonna paint. We're gonna. I'm gonna kind of change a little bit of it. Message will be the same. He's walking around through the garden and things like that, and he's looking at like the the cherry blossoms and some of the things that he's growing and things of that nature. And uh, his servant was carrying a sword behind him, you know, as he's walking through and admiring nature. And um, while they're doing this, the servant thinks it'd be so easy for me to take this sword, just pull it out and kill him. That same moment. A samurai turns around and he looks, and he looks, and he walks over to the tree and looks behind it, and then he walks over behind the bush and looks behind it, and he just has this feeling of being perplexed, you know what I mean, like something's wrong. The servant didn't say anything, he's like, oh shit. They start walking and walking and walking, and um, the rest of the time you can see this, uh, this samurai, he was very like, um, you could see that he wasn't at ease, like something was really bothering him. And, um, and the servant says, you know, you don't, are you okay? You just seem like there's something wrong. And he said, you know, I have the weirdest feeling. We were going through, we were looking at the cherry blossoms and we we're looking at the plants. And then I just got this feeling that someone was gonna hurt us. And he goes, I only get that feeling when I'm in combat. And I looked around, I didn't see anything. It's like it went away. And he goes, I don't know. It's, it's very, I, I can't let that feeling go. The servant lowered his head and he says, I'm very sorry, I was carrying your sword and I thought about how easy it would be if I pulled the sword and cut you down. The samurai stands up, puts a smile on his face and then walks back out and admires the cherry blossoms. And that's the story. So it's up for you guys to kind of dissect that and figure out what you're supposed to take from that. It's not my job to tell you what it means, it's just my job to make sure I relay the message.